train is coming to a stop and I'm back in Alessandria and I feel quite lost. Um, as I said, one step at a time, let's see what's the next step now. again. I arrived uh, at 3 something in the train today. Uh, my mom was on her own. She's really she's really low in mood. She's really down. I, I don't know if it's because she's unwell. I, I, don't, I, I don't know if she's still mad about what happened. I don't know but it's, it's not the best of ways that I've ever found her. But then again I should have realized that by now, shouldn't I? Um, I'm just going now to buy some groceries because she, she's almost finished everything that I got her last week. And because she doesn't see, she can't quite know what to get. And it's very important that at least she sticks to the proper dietary plan. Um, things that happened and changed, uh, there are, of course, all the works about clearing the house has been stopped. She doesn't want to hear any more about that. If we talk about doctors and everything, she doesn't want to hear about that either. Uh, I, according to her, I convinced everyone. Basically, I can't be trusted. Um, so, unfortunately, what I had to do now was to Admit defeat, at least for the moment, and take care of a few things that I can still take care of before leaving. And the leaving date has been pushed forward, and I'll be back in London on Friday now. So I have still three days of work here, and then I'll be back in London. Uh, I hope, I, I wish I had an idea before I came here. Of what was actually going on. I came here to help my mom with her diabetes and to help her solve the house and I found a shell that looks an awful lot like my mom used to but then it's 50% her inside maybe and just sometimes which is one of the cruelest things that can possibly happen and I find it ironic because um, it's, I don't know, it's one thing that I've always noticed in, in people that really makes me suffer a lot and that usually is when something happens and people change or have to change and so the face stays the same but basically it is sort of like they're dead so I call them Tom Blackers, Tomb Blackers and funny enough I actually wrote a short story about it a few years ago. And the old point is that at the Blackers, yeah, they forget who they are and what their life was and crucial points of their lives. And they might actually forget the people that were part of their lives as well. And now my mom is one. And sometimes she clearly doesn't remember that I am her daughter reader. So it's quite hard to digest, but one step at a time. And I know that now there's only so much that I can still do in three days. So I'm just gonna get her good food. I'm gonna cook her a nice dinner. I'm going to uh, take uh, care of all the analysis and tests that she run so that I have, can have other doctors take care of, take a look at it. And then I just hope that I can work towards having her with me for as long as possible still.